Hey guys, yes, it's a different narrator today, but don't worry, grandma doesn't have a sore throat. Today we'll be showing you how I do my grandma's simple and natural makeup for special occasions. Or when you want to look fabulous and glamorous at home during this MCO, because no one should stop you from looking like a queen. So I'm starting off with a moisturizer to hydrate my grandma's already flawless skin. Not even joking guys, her skin is so soft and so smooth. Now just give your grandma a nice face massage cause they deserve it. For foundation, I'll be using Misha's Magic Cushion Moist Up in the shade number 21 which has an SPF 50, perfect for Malaysia's hot weather and it keeps the skin healthy. This is also really moisturizing and it's gonna give grandma a nice dewy glowing finish. I'll be using Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light to conceal the under eye bags. Going in on the eyes, I'm using the eyeshadow palette sponsored by Juliet Young's makeup collection. Thanks mom! I'm using the coral shade which matches my grandma's skin because she doesn't like smoky eyes that look too intense, you know? Grandma thinks her eyes aren't pretty, but I think they're beautiful. So time for brows. I'm using these two eyebrow pencils in the shade Grey Brown. First, I'll use Etude's House Pencil to draw the eyebrow shape I want, which is just outlining the top of grandma's eyebrows. Then, using the Face Shop's pencil, I'll be filling in her brows and fluffing them up using the brush. And there you have it, natural looking brows. For her cheeks, I'm using 3CE's Multi Pot in the color Hollyhock. Smile and dab across the cheeks gently. I like to blend some on the bridge of the nose to kind of give a nice subtle flush look. Look at how grandma's skin is glowing. Now I'm using Physicians Formula's Butter Bronzer to contour the nose a bit. Grandma has a naturally high nose bridge though, so she doesn't really need much contouring. Using a bigger brush, I'm going to use the bronzer again to bring back some colour onto her skin. Now let's prep the lips with some lip balm. Using Max lipstick in the shade Where No Man Has Gone Before. Oh wow, what a weird name. Using this lipstick to kind of like line her lips a bit. Finally, I'm using Laneige? Laneige? Wait, wait, how do you pronounce this again? I think it's Laneige's two tone lipstick in the shade number 6, Pink Step.
watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video we'll be back with more yummy recipes so stay tuned for more and subscribe if you haven't already bye that's all